Now, miracles are about the Kenya Kunya check and see me ma. It looks like that all the NDC for them. They are actually very, very, very worried. See, see, because of the fact that in some of them, or no, bring it up to the oil, the show, no, it looks like it, it was one of the biggest expose ever since in the history of Ghana. From the Afa, but you know, Afa Mekuska. Yet, see, as my Dennis Miracles about the other two, but here we are. Share watching the comment section. Share, 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 share. Video, no, 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 who is, is this Sammy James' communication department? Who is doing to be, it? Who is be be behind it? To be very sincere with you, the way the NDC operates, you know NDC, they they are they use communist inferior tactics. Mm -hmm. And the way they operate, um, you don't pinpoint one person. You know, they say they are socialists. So it's all for all, one for all. You know the way they say that. They are all part. It's a whole grand scheme. Who's been talking about? I've heard President Mahama. Is it on the... Is it on My the President Mahama speaks about it. Who else? Who else? Who's, everybody in the NDC has spoken about it. They've all either tweeted or Facebooked about it. All of them. And it was a grand scheme. And this document was prepared for the 2020 elections. It was something they did to run us down. The so they are suggesting to Ghanaians that don't vote for Dr. Baumia because if you vote for Dr. Baumia, he will continue The with guys are still what? campaigning against Anel Kufadu. You have That's what I tell you. They are not serious. How? They are still campaigning against Anel Kufadu. You don't see it. I don't get it. They are still campaigning against Anel Kufadu. That's why I also don't get That's why they are not serious. I don't understand. You have a contest with Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and you are campaigning against Anel Kufadu. You don't see it. How are they campaigning Don't you against see them every day fighting uh, Anel Kufadu? You know why? Because Dr. Mahmoud Baumia won't fight. He's a different breed of politician. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is that fine line between a technocrat and a politician. He, he is one that is just focused on the issues. And the solutions. That's all. He identifies the problems and he says, this is what I think we need to do to make it work. And the NDC, they never debate on issues. But Dr. Baumia throws jabs at John Mahama. That I want to debate him, he's running away from me. Ah, if, if I want to debate you and you're running away, that's not a job. That's a fact. Because you well, have said you have said that you won't debate me, so you're running away. I mean, but he, told, he says things like, go and ask him to talk about inflation in his but, time. Ask him to talk about yes, yeah, because, because, like yeah, because you haven't spoken about it. That's fact. Mm -hmm. Because you haven't spoken about it. As we speak now, have you heard your mama, former president, his excellency, give us an account of his stewardship as president? I'm totally sure exactly. that that hasn't happened. That's I, was, what I'm telling you. I was hoping that the campaign launch would go up. It still didn't see, happen. The reason why they cannot take on... Why Dr. is he not talking about The reason time? why they cannot debate and take on Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya on the issues is because they themselves, to date, they haven't been able to espouse any cogent solution to our issues and our challenges as a country. They don't have any? Ah, but even their own... The one they mentioned, have they been able to explain? Do you understand? No. Do you understand any of their policies? I saw you play some of the videos. Some say the organizers will work on the Techumai Highway till 2 a.m. Some say lions and eagles will be red and they'll be exported. Some say water will be sold at night. Have you heard them really say that? Water will be sold at night was fairly so possible. Listen, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has identified each of the issues. He says for the business community, I think these are our issues. This is my solution. What do you think? For the teachers, this is the issue. This is my solution. But the question then is, Dr. Baumia is in government. Mm. What is this I've identified, I've identified? Okay, go ahead and yeah, but, but deal you, with it. You see, there is a reason why we go into an election every four years. Mm -hmm. It is because countries' issues never end. Mm. You fix one and it escalates you to the next level. And then you have to find solution for that one as well. Otherwise, I'm sure the Americans and the Europe, they would say we have arrived. God, come for us. Why is America going into an election in November? Is there any country that beats America in anything? Why are they going? Haven't you heard Kamala Harris talk about things that she will do? Why is she not doing them now? She's vice president. It is because it is because when you are, you are going into an election, you have to look at what was in existence, what you have achieved, and say, we have been able to do all of this. What is left for us to do? For example, we have implemented free senior high school. Yes. So what are you going to do when it comes to free senior high school? Mm -hmm. The next level is we need to move secondary education to be modernized and be ready for the fourth industrial revolution. That's why you hear Dr. Mahmoud Baumia speak about TVET education and how to modernize it. How, is, how, how does that amount to do it now? I will need we have it. done, need, we uh, have done, have we have done what we have to do based on the four year tenor and what we promised. Some of them are standing that needs to be done. Those are the things that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has put together and also identified emerging issues. Because once you, as you solve the issues, you are getting emerging ones that also require new solutions. And those are the things he's espousing. Whether former President Mahama likes it or not, Dumso is no longer an issue. It's been fixed under this government. So he can't come and tell us that I'm going to solve Dumso. You understand? He needs to come and tell us new things that he will do.
Why is he not talking about those new things? Mention one solution you've heard the former president profess for any of our sectors. He'll, he'll expand infrastructure, he has said that. Which government doesn't build infrastructure? So let me tell you, let me even make this point quickly. Infrastructure. So you talk about road, right? You yes, talk about so health road, infrastructure, road school buildings, education, secondary school buildings, okay. e-blocks. Perfect. Even the e-blocks that you started today, we have completed more, more of your e-blocks that you started than you completed yourself. Roads. He himself said in parliament that he constructed about 4,000 roads. We have done 11,000 roads. Why should anybody vote for you who did 4,000 and vote against the one that did 11,000? Why? Why should anybody vote for you who built barely uh, eight hospitals and vote against the one that is building about 111? Why? President Kufo started Eurojet's project. Mm -hmm. For eight years, he became president. You couldn't finish it. He had to take President Kufo's descendants to come and complete the Eurojet's project. Why should anybody vote for you and vote against the government that has done it? So if you say, vote for me because I would bring infrastructure, your scorecard against the current government scorecard of infrastructure is quite clear. So I hear them talk about economy. Oh, you know, talk about the economy. Are you aware that under President Mohammed's presidency, he did not improve a single indicator under a macroeconomic indicator, not even one. Each of the macroeconomic indicators that he met in 2012, he rendered them useless under his presidency. Everything declined? All of them. So the point here is this. Yes, our inflation may be at 23%, from 15% to 23%. Mm -hmm. But Paul, our inflation during the global economic crisis mm -hmm. went all the way to 54%. Mm -hmm. And today, we have worked from 2022 so hard to bring it to 23%, and it's still going down. You have no single record of being able to bring any macroeconomic indicator down. You picked inflation from 8% and you took it to 15%. Hmm. So if somebody picked it from your 15% and it went all the way to 54% and the person is working hard and it's coming down to about 23%, how do you tell me to vote for you who has no record of being able to manage our economy to improve any of them and vote against the one that has shown that if it gets worse, he can work to bring it back to good fortune. How do you convince me to vote for you? <laughs> on this I'm sorry. I'm about to reply. I text that idea. A friend of mine, very, very good friend. I said, Charlie, this miracles guy be brutal. And I replied, I swear. I thought I'm on there. monumental project be constituency we mono a true MPP. A year monumental project. Yes. And the development. Yes. Let me give you, I can give you a typical example. A year. When it comes to education, education through MPP, honorable Kobi Ochidaku Mensa, and attack the constituency, any other telecom university here. Yeah. Oh, so, it is a uh, telecom university. Yes, it was promised made by Kobi Ochidaku Mensa and YC, our honorable, under him. Again, today, the whole attack the constituency, there wasn't any Islamic secondary school. In this constituency, through Honorable Kobi Ochidakume inside the MP, and I'm in Ukasi, the rigs a secondary school, Islamic secondary school. This is your own Islamic secondary school. Islamic secondary school. September. And I say, Kobi Ochidakume inside no more was a bay. Yes. Yes. And, baby, I want to, baby, I want to, you have one old electoral area, your friend or old Adra, opposite behind the Aviama to Fuchoba, Ukwahon Ma, and then this is and yeah, we are a GS a year process. The next free SHS in Kuala Lumpur September. They will run to that school. Okay. It is there. Or oh, your school for a school for free. Then, when it come to other social interventions, let come to rogues. The whole tapradi from Pagrant runabout to this place. Now a year a kwanya a driver for new tapradi for year who demonstration. I remember 2016, NDC for catching a new tax credit for say, Omu to Obama MPP, and the Pagrant ran about to the half and Omu I have a word of working because they said the 2016. They said the 2016. 2016. They said it. They said it. They said it. I have a word of working. They said it around November when they did a demonstration. There was a demonstration on that road. You understand? There was a demonstration on that road. So the promise MPP made. Was that? Yeah, but 
That road, yeah, complete yeah. 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 from background. How do you feel when you are walking on that road? Background to, to New Takrade. I hear your way. I hear your way. I hear your way. And yeah, one of the candidates of NDC. And yeah, Omu PC. I have a note. Now, so say, Omu be your social program, sir. I have a name. It takes honorable copy of that. I'm telling you. This is a fact. Oh, no, 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 when it comes to other infrastructure, and eh? anytime MPP will come to government, eh? anytime MPP comes to government, any monumental project about Takrady constituency, eh, a true MPP. Let me give you a typical example. Eh, your President John Ejekum Kufuo, and the Mayan Bank of Ghana, the body you see over there, and eh, your MPP are buying, and the basic Bank of Ghana dying. Then President Kufuo, and a court Sika for Takrady Library, and your Sika Okoji free, and your a uh, World Bank Rural Development 2008. Or free a Bermuno and a NDC a buyer, NDC for buyer, no, and a move to a project, no, so fine. A governance continuation, unfortunately, because a Yatak Party constituency project, you know, the NDC abandoned the project. Mente, it has to take NPP government. I say, yes, I say, President Kofona Bredo, and what sort say funding, and now was it a project in the bay? And our and our time is time. And our budget here though, or no bandanas say woje. I mean, you know, President Kufuwa time. And our Kaji Sika, every Af World Africa Development Bank project be a friend of rural urban development. Two thousand. So, how can it? And our entity at time is by you know, at time is by you know. And our share project na se. And unfortunately, at time is every mono. And our year Ramahama Bay. Because that party constituency, a year a hunter for land, Mahaman to a project, so it has to take the next MPP government. So 2019, and you're very good. So, what do you want to do? Let's come to head infrastructure. The whole that party constituency, it MPP MP, one of the copy of the documents, I see two hospitals, and the two hospitals have a brother. The new that party here. New Takrade. I was here, Yara. You can send your. Ebi eni ni nala wo New Takrade. Baku ewa ha. Ena baku ewa kokompe, which is the uh, aya kokompe Takrade kokompe. And baku su ewa ho. When it comes to jobs, you see, when it comes to jobs, neba. When it comes to jobs, aya uh, NDC, eh, NDC, omo asefo, including their own my father, parliamentary candidate, omo ane tong aya black saline, ama unemployment across row, ena New Takrade ha. It is only under MPP. Uba new tax radia. Uba immigration officer, prison officer, fire officer, custom officer, education officer, port director. Uba yet more port. NDC don't have a single person being recruited into any of the government city agencies. Now, them are they may be out to know. I bring you nothing but the truth. I bring you facts back to back, back to back content. Now, but mazana share video and share, 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 share. No be students and company. Now we are share one your comment section. But from here, far, we do not from a cruise camp. I'm a crowd. Naturally, in the group.